Well, no, these look like they could actually be males, so that's good news. Maybe a male and a female. You wouldn't believe it. But if we just look a little bit ahead of us to our left, you'll see who we are looking for. So that was probably one of the easier sequences of tracking that I've done. Hello boys. <laughs> I guess just because I was very close to the vehicle, they didn't run off. But there we have it. It looks like the Birmingham boys. Uh, no buffalo in sight. But lots of big male lions. Beautiful, look at this. Can you believe it? Stations located the Birmingham Coalition. They are lying up on Zoe's, about 20 meters north of Balanati's junction, all five of them. Well, important thing to remember when tracking is to always look up so thankfully I did have a quick look up there otherwise things could have turned out very differently but you can often get so absorbed in looking down for the footprints and if you do do that you could stumble right on top of the animals you're looking for looks like they've had a busy night they've moved a, a, a huge distance Yesterday they were seen far north on the boundary of the Kruger National Park. So the fact that we have found their tracks coming from our southern property, southern portion of Juma, makes it kind of strange and hard to add up because you'd expect their tracks to have been heading in a southerly direction coming from the north. I'm just going to give another quick update on the radio because it doesn't appear that Texan or Aubrey heard that last one. And before they head too far in the wrong direction, Aubrey and Tex, the Birmingham's, five of them are on Zoe's, just north of Balanati's. <laughs> 